Smoke it till it's stupid state, stay until it's late Sweet like chocolate cake, part just like the shit I roll off paper plates Search for sweet escape because inside I feel I'm dying slow I tell you all that What is going on my dogs? My name is Madison and I'm the Auction Dog And today is episode 2 of the C30 build Before we get into it, if you haven't already We would love if you would subscribe down below It really would help us, you know, we're trying to blow this channel out And get it, get it growing and monetized and everything this year so any any little bit helps and we really do appreciate it and if you do like the content please give us a like down below drop a comment let, let us know what you're thinking about this whole this whole video series that we're doing so let's hop right into it if you didn't watch the first episode this is my e30 that we picked up for resale okay and it is it's very 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 nice honestly 98,000 original miles 92 325 i convertible and uh, it did have a few flaws, that some of some of which we addressed in this video. To begin, it had a cracked rear bumper, and I kind of had some footage of that in the previous video that I'll link here, which was on this side. Uh, the convertible top worked when I bought it, but uh, as slowly as I was driving it, the there is a little uh, there's a pivot point in which one of the arms is connected to up like on top of the motor and I actually have footage of this as well but I bought a repair kit for it and we fixed that in this video and I just finished detailing this and it has no seats in it right now because they were really torn up honestly they were the leather was all cracked it had a lot of issues so I've taken them out currently I gotta still have to remove this back uh, the seat back in there for the rear seat but I ordered a new seat, a new set of leathers from a company called LC, and I'm gonna be doing a video specifically for that stuff. Uh, probably, I think they arrive Friday, so that'll probably drop next week. But this is where we're at right now with this car. And honestly, it is looking fantastic. So the first clip that you will see uh, in this video is me actually repairing this convertible top. So it's very, very common for these E30s to have this problem so there was an out and it will make more sense when i when i actually put this when i put the video together but it was a really stupid design how they made this it didn't make any sense there's just so much stress on a piece of potted aluminum that's attached to the gear case of the motor that eventually they all break and so there's a company called snu parts snu parts and they're out of i believe denmark or somewhere somewhere in europe and they made a really nice kit to repair this. And so I've actually installed it already and it's repaired here, but I do have footage of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into that now. All right, so here's my e E30 convertible. I don't know if you guys saw the last episode when I went and bought this thing and finally got it back, but it did come with a few issues. And one of them I'm gonna talk about briefly right now. And I'm not, I probably won't make a separate video for this. I'm probably just gonna tie it all in and show you guys what I'm doing here. Cause we've already fixed the bumper. Got to do the trim left on that. but. The main issue was that this convertible top was broken essentially. This is the remnants of the pivot point from the motor, which pretty much just snaps off clean right here, which this is a really poor design. I don't know why they would have built it like this, but they did. So, get the iguana anyways, get the iguana merch, he says. Anyway, so I'm gonna put a link in the, bot in the description down below about where I got this thing, because this came from Denmark. The dude's name is Snoo Parts, and this kit's actually really, really good. For one, it comes with new bushings, and it comes with a new uh, washers and new bolts and everything that are slightly longer than factory. But really what the main benefit is, is this plate. Because it distributes the, stre or the, like, the stress of the actual pivoting from the top. Instead of being through the motor, it puts it to the body of the car. And this is much better. So, I'm going to take these original bolts out right here. And this goes right like that over, and you just bolt it to the original bolt holes. And it's actually really ingenious and this is going to work perfectly so i'm going to go ahead and start to install this here and then uh just kind of tap back in with you once i have all the bolts back in here all right so this kit is actually really good i'm really i'm really overwhelmingly surprised with this i didn't know how it was going to be for like a 70 dollars kit 65 bucks but it's good so it comes with instructions i haven't read these and uh this is this is where we're at right now so i got all four bolts tightened up and these are just the factory mounting holes for the motor below this. And so it, it's, it's very self-explanatory, honestly. Now we got both of these control arms back together. And we're going to put these, these movement arms in and see kind of where we're at. Because i got to recalibrate this thing and make sure it's functional. But once that's done, honestly, I think we're going to be good to go. So I'm going to get those arms back together. And then we're going to start to try to function this thing and see what's going on with it and whether or not we're right or wrong. But here we go. We're fucking fixed. 
Cannot believe it. Whoa, whoa, we are. We are fixed. Very nice. So we're latched in here now, fully closed. The only thing I think is weird is that it raised up like the back of this a little bit. I don't know if that was, if that's something I can adjust to get to be a little different. Here, Sean, close it one more time. So, see it functioning here. Everything works again perfectly. I think that's the exhaust fucking rattle a little bit. That works perfectly. See how the plate's there? Yeah, oh, that's good. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, that's it. Top's fixed. Done. Top's fixed. So I wanted to include one tidbit of information while I'm putting this thing back together for the convertible top. Both of these arms, I never changed adjustments on, okay? And I think that it's very crucial. See, this one's actually a little loose, but I think it's crucial that you guys do not touch that stuff. These arms, uh, they basically, one moves and the other one moves kind of, not necessarily independent of it, but it kind of just catches and moves with it. And it's a really simple thing, but just move the top back and forth as you were going to try to put these arms back on because you don't want to change the adjustments of anything. Otherwise, it won't fold back properly and it won't, it won't go. So as you can see, it was a really easy fix. You know, it, the, the whole thing really did come together well and it's a very easy install and it, it does a good job. It repaired it, it works perfectly now and I have no complaints. So I will link their company down below because I think that it would be valuable for other people to know that these, these parts are out there actually. So after that, I really, I, I had a hard time with this with the bumper. So I, oh, I ordered an E30, a new E30 bumper, right? through the mail from a kid off of Facebook Marketplace and uh, it arrived like this in two freaking pieces and I couldn't believe it, you know? I told him specifically, I said, dude, package it properly. I'm spending $400 on a rear bumper shipped to my house. Please package it properly. Put it in a box or wrap it up properly, you know, support both sides of it. And he didn't. It just arrived, like he literally just wrapped it with bubble wrap, put cardboard on each end of it and then sent it like that. I'm like, you're a freaking, I don't, I don't normally bash people, but that was just so stupid. It was so stupid. And that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm like, freaking A, dude. So I, in my infinite amount of wisdom, it decided that it's probably not the best idea to try to have one shipped if I can't get one locally. And I'm running out of time with this car, frankly. So this is where we're at right now. I had the pieces left over. Uh, oh shit, fuck. Gotta clean that off before I put it back on the car. I had the pieces left over from when the previous owner had backed into something with this car and it was this piece, this piece, and this piece. And so I've glued them back together. I gotta, kinda gotta clean some glue off of here to make it a little cleaner, but it really doesn't look terrible. And I have a new piece of trim from that other bumper that I'm gonna put on there. So it's acceptable. Is it perfect? No, it's not, but it's acceptable. And I'm out of time, frankly, with this whole thing. I really, really am. So I gotta just get it cracking. And I have the seats out and I've done a nice, a really well deep. I, I shampooed the carpet. It's got a lot of the stains out of here. The only one that kind of stuck a little bit is this one, which it's still there. I might try to shampoo that again to get that out. But there's just, there was a lot of deep coffee stains in here from 20 years of ownership. Somebody just never took the seats out and cleaned it, but that's okay. Not, not everybody did. The previous owner of this car had it for 22 years and I got it from her. And she was one of my girlfriend's clients actually. She uh, had the car. I dropped off some materials because my girlfriend owns a cleaning company. My fiance owns a cleaning company. And uh, I dropped some materials off to her and I saw this car in the driveway and I said, you know, if that, if your customer ever wants to sell that car, let her know that I would, I'd be, I have cash for her right now. And uh, <laughs> she, she did it like four months later after she had bumped into something. She's like, I just can't continue to take care of this thing. And I, I'm, I'm the guy. So I, I was like, perfect. You know, I went there and I gave her, like four thousand dollars i'm probably gonna cut that out of this video and i left with the car and honestly i'm so stoked that i did because this thing is beautiful it is finished in uh brilliant rot and the color is just it's spot on for what an e30 convertible should look like it really really is and i'm stoked on it you know i think it came together very well and the detail really brought out a lot of the color and it just, I reconditioned a lot of the plastics and stuff and I gotta go through and polish it up and finish up everything. I got some some smears and some swirls and stuff, but it's looking bitching. So, I do have some footage of me doing the detail and pulling the seats out and stuff. 
And uh, I think that the main gist of this video was basically is basically the uh, the convertible top repair. I wanted people to know that those parts are out there, and also that we will be dropping a video uh, with w while I recover all these seats, probably next week sometime. So watch out for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop some clips of me doing the detail on this car, and kind of some of the stuff that we found as we were going through it, and we'll see where we end up after that. <laughs> All right, so yesterday I kind of finished up a couple of things on this E30 and it was a Sunday, so we took the car and went for a ride with my girlfriend and had some nice time. But today is a Monday and I'm getting back to it and I kind of want to pick up where I left off and show you guys where we're at right now and what my plan is with this thing. So this is where we're at. I took the seat bottom out of the back seat and kind of just went through all the plastics, cleaned up all the vinyl and all the freaking leather door panels i got this seat out shampooed the carpets they came pretty clean honestly it's really not bad it came out pretty good and all the staining coffee stains and stuff came out so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it overall honestly it ain't gonna be perfect i know that but we're getting close and so we got the dash all cleaned up i'm kind of pissed off this thing i think i cracked it right here because i got it from a lady who was storing it inside and i've kept it outside and i'm pretty sure i cracked it which is like a major bummer but so what I'm going to do with that, and this is an old trick I learned from 240s, is you take like a hot pin and you stick it right at the point of the crack and it'll stop it, you know? Like something you heat up, like something you can just stab in there real quick and it'll stop the crack. And then there's one here and one on top of the cluster there too. But, I mean, this is what we started with. Let's see how dirty everything is. And this is where we're at right now. And it's coming out really, really nice. And all the plastics are actually in really good shape. Some staining here that's like impossible to get out. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about that. It's on that side too, but we're really making some headway with this thing. I think I'm going to pull the driver's seat today and kind of just start taking that apart. Or at least clean that side up too. But I mean, this is where we're at with the passenger. This one's not too bad. I need to pull the backing off of it. But I might not start disassembling until I get this whole thing figured out. Like, as far as, like, how I'm gonna, like, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna forget how the whole seat goes back together when this, when the earth leathers arrive. And so, I'm gonna end this episode not here, like, a little, little bit later once I get it all cleaned up. But, uh, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna start the next episode off when we do these L seat covers, because I think this is gonna be an important thing to just have for its own episode. And I think that's gonna be good, honestly. So, this bumper, I'm going to just rock it like this. I know it's stupid to just rock a cracked bumper, but I'm at the point right now where I just need to get this car sold, and I'm not going to deal with... I'm still waiting on my PayPal resolution from that other broken one, and I'm kind of pissed off about it, but it is what it is, I guess. So I'm still waiting on the PayPal resolution and then the pirate ship. I'm trying to get a claim through them to figure out exactly how I'm going to make... what I'm going to do, but it's just a really stupid scenario, so... I'm kind of all out of money to spend on this thing. And I don't really want to go and just fork over another 400 bucks to try to get a bumper here. And then it ends up getting here broken. And it's just a whole shit show too. So this is the this is about as good as it's going to get. I am going to use the trim off that bumper for this side because it's still good, luckily. But it's pretty much where we're at with that. And it doesn't look terrible. These three cracks went back together pretty good. There's still a missing piece back there. This one looks like shit. But it is what it is, honestly. It doesn't take away from the car. You stand back here. It doesn't take away from the car. Car looks good still. Gotta block the number on my house. Car looks good still. So, I gotta go wipe the front window off here. Because I've been doing some invisible glass and just kind of trying to clean the car up overall. The next th last thing I really need to do, and I'm gonna go get the stuff to do it today, is I wanna recondition all the black plastics because they're not in the best of shape. They're fine. They're not cracked or anything, but... They just don't look very good so not the worst thing in the world but i just want to make this thing look tits and if you look at it like the console looks nice i took the e-brake boot out cleaned that cleaned all this stuff everything just looks really really clean dude it's a nice car i you, you don't see e30s a lot that are like this and so the other thing that kind of sucks about this thing is there's a little tab that's supposed to be on the bottom of this like plastic piece that this clip goes under and that's what would hold these down like that and that's gone it is not there anymore unfortunately so it is what it is they just stick up and apparently these doors are literally like 80 dollars a pop 
to replace. I'm like, screw that. That's, they're staying too. So that's pretty much where we're at right now. I'm going to get my other camera out and film myself pulling that seat out and just kind of start cleaning up in there. And yeah, just get cracking. So with the 409, all I do is really just spray it on there, let it chill for a little while. And then I have a little circular brush, brush and I also have a weird looking brush. It's a different shape that I don't know where it is. But that one, um, we just use, I just really use this to agitate everything. You know, look at that, my friggin' stain came right out. So you got a little agitator there. Freaking hit it again. Let it lift that whole thing right out of there. I just wanted to see what would happen with that. So I'm gonna keep agitating that stuff, vacuum all this crap out of here and see where we end up. But I'm, I'm guaranteed I have to 409 the whole thing afterwards. I just wanted to see if that would take that out of there and it pretty much did, which is good. All right, so this is basically where we're at after shampooing and kind of cleaning everything up. I uh. I cleaned, I also cleaned the carpets, like the pullout carpets, just to try to make sure those are good. This is miss missing its latch, unfortunately, right here. So, but it just sits where it is, you know, no big deal. But the carpet really did come out clean. Look, the stain's gone, like, it's beautiful. I'm really, really pleased overall with how this thing came together, honestly. So, next episode, I'm gonna end this one here and just kinda, you know, because I feel like we got we got some stuff done in this episode. Not too bad. But the next episode is going to involve recovering these seats. So I have new leathers coming. They should be here in a couple of days. And we are going to really get into this. This is not going to be super easy. I've watched a couple of uh, just like how-to videos on how to wrap seats. and Or with new leather. And it, it doesn't look like it's very easy, honestly. But at least this is a pretty simple seat to wrap and not something that's really complex with airbags or whatever else you know kind of getting away with it but we'll see how it goes it all comes together i really think it's going to be decent though and who knows maybe it'll come together really really nicely i'm not going to discredit myself sometimes i get stuff done and i'm like really pleased with it so we'll see but yeah other than that the c30 is really coming together i think it's going to be a beautiful car when it's all done i am gonna i'm gonna i have to go somewhere and get some get some uh stuff to refinish the plastics and stuff so i'll probably just do that in the next episode too but until then i think we got it i think we're in a really good spot for the end of today not too bad if you guys have watched this far uh please like and subscribe we're trying to grow this freaking thing out the wazoo honestly and uh i'm gonna link down below the kit that i use to fix the sunroof on this car or the the uh the roof on this car the, the convertible top because it was super simple it was a very very simple fix front to back and it was done in like 20 minutes honestly super super cake so yeah pretty much thank you guys very much for watching this far if you have Peace out, my dogs. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day.